Hi, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use WPL import to import an XML file where the variations are stored as child XML elements. So we'll upload the file. We want to import it to new WooCommerce products. And now in step two, let's take a look at the file. We have 34 product elements in the file. Here's one. And inside each product element, there are many variants. One, two, three, four, and so on. And each variant has a different size and a different color. So let's continue to step three. We'll set our title and content in the usual way by dragging and dropping. And now let's go to WooCommerce add-on, variable product. We'll set our SKU, our retail price, and sale price. And on the variations tab, we choose I'm importing XML and my variations are child XML elements. And now there's this box we have to fill out called variations X path. So what we do is take one of the variants, it doesn't matter which one, any one, I'll use the first one, and we drag that to this box. That allows WPL import to detect it and all its sibling elements, and it's detected that there's 13 variations for product one, we go to product two, open XML tree, there are 20 variations for product two. And now we set our variation um, attributes like SKU, uh, maybe an image for the variation, price for the variation. And we don't set these by dragging and dropping from this main box because this is the content for the parent product, not the variations. Instead, we click open XML tree, and you can move this around anywhere on the screen to make it easy. And this just gives you the the XML for the variants. So we want to set the SKU to SKU. We want to create an attribute called color. An attribute called size. And let's say we wanted to import the price from the main XML. Well, to do that, if we drag from the main XML, we'd also have to check this box, XPath is from parent. Other, that way, WPL import knows that this is referring to the main XML, not the variant XML. In this case, though, we do want to import the prices for the variations. So we'll do that right here. And that's everything we need to do to set up a variable product import when the variations are stored as child XML elements. We don't need to do anything on the attributes tab. The variation attributes are set on the variations tab. So now let's uh, import one of the images. Preview looks good. And continue to step four. WPL import will auto detect our unique key. We'll continue, confirm and run import. And we're going to have to download 34 images, so it might take a minute, so I may pause the video and come back in a minute. Okay, the import is now complete. Let's take a look at the variable products. So here they are. And it's imported our colors and sizes. And that is how to import variable products from an XML file where the variations are stored as child elements. Thank you for watching.